Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ranger W here with my good friend Twig. What's going on, Twig? Not much. How about you? Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below if you agree or disagree with our tier list. Today we will... And if you disagree, you're wrong. Exactly. It, today we will be using our own opinions, thoughts, uh, from watching Hunter x Hunter 2011 edition. And we're going to be ranking these characters based on how we feel about them, not necessarily based on how strong they are in actuality. Fair enough. Get the rules. And how strong they are is kind of easy. Yeah, obviously you're going to put Mero on S tier. <laughs> but who's to say we're not going to put him there anyways. So if you guys have any disagreements or agreements, please be sure to leave a comment. We'll be sure to get back to you and talk to you guys about what you guys think should be in S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier. Just have fun in the comment section down below. So we're going to start off with Aluka, a character who was introduced in... I believe episode 136, later episodes, the fine one of the final arcs in the uh, 2011 anime. Yeah, I think it was the last yeah, what do you think about this character, Twig? I, it was a little weird uh, that they introduced her, but I don't know, or him, whatever. I put, I put her in D tier. D tier. <laughs> okay, I, I mean I agree with that, but I liked her whole power and her whole arc. Like I thought it was really cool to be honest when they just introduced her and I kind of feel like at least it was a little bit of like a cheap way to get Gone healed in my opinion to an extent because like you had never really heard about her throughout the rest of the show and then suddenly she just appears and she can grant wishes. Is that is that kind of what went into your thought process there? Or? Yeah, yeah, no that was exactly it and plus like if they ever continue the show, which like I want them to do obviously, but uh, if they ever continue the show I don't know how they're going to fucking write around her. Kilua now has like a fucking snap and you can do anything. You can just wish her to do something and she'll be like, okay. <laughs> Dude, I I think, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I think she's a really cool character, but I, I just think her whole, like the likability of her isn't very high just because of that just OP factor. And it just seems... Yeah, she's way too OP. Like, it's, I feel like they... So they got a nerf her in the next patch, but it just feels like when they created her, they were just like... How are we gonna heal Gon? Who's a character we like? We like Kilo, right? Let's just have him just have a new sister. He already has a bunch of other family members. <laughs> just throw. Or just have him have a sister down in the dungeon for whatever no reason. Yeah, exactly. So B. Really any wish. Move that has a main downside, but Kilo is immune to the downside. Exactly. Moving on to our next character, Beans. I wasn't really a big fan of him either. I don't know why he's even on this tier list. But uh, also D tier. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's he's kind of a terrible character. He's just kind of there to be there. What do you think about him? Yeah, I think I think he's just kind of, yeah kind of there to be there. Like he's cool and all. Like he's not a bad character or anything. I love just, I love anime. What's the point of him being like that? He's kind of irrelevant. Doesn't really do anything. We'll put him in C tier because I don't think he's that. I don't think he's hateable to an extent. But I think he's he's just kind of there to be there. My thing is this for him though. Why is he green and why is he being like? I guess this show is it's a fantasy show, but it's just why could he just be a normal human? <laughs> like, like, I mean, it, it's cool and all, but I I don't I don't understand why he couldn't just been a normal human. He was kind of just like what the assistant, like one of the assistants to uh, Chairman Netero. Yeah, he was kind of was the fucking assistant to the whole Zodiacs and stuff. Like, Zodiac people. Oh yeah, that's that's about it. Moving on to Biscuit, I believe Biscuit should be pretty high tier. What do you think? Uh, she yeah. or A tier. She was a really cool character when she was introduced. She kind of helped uh, Gon and Kilua learn a little bit more about Nan and just become stronger in the whole Greed Island arc. What do you think we should place? Yeah, yeah. I think I think she's a really cool character. I'd put her in a solid A tier because. Uh, Absolutely, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, she like she's like has that whole like I'm the future arc thing, which they you know Wing kind of sucks, but we'll get to that. <laughs> She has an interesting personality and she's like fun to have on screen and then she like gets big and beats people up and it's super cool and I like her. She's yes. Absolutely, dude. I like her too. Uh, I think she's well deserving of A tier. She's not quite I guess if she had more screen time, I think we could put her into that S tier. Because like we didn't really get to know much about her throughout the show. But yeah, she was a cool character. She kinda just came back at the end, wasn't it, to like uh, help help Nanika and help help Nanika and Aluka get into helping yeah. i mean that's kind of where, that's where we saw her so moving on to our next character canary i didn't really like her too much she was like was she supposed to be a love interest for kiloa is that what it was I, th I think so it was she was just i feel like her character like kind of pointless not gonna lie 
Absolutely. I think she, <laughs> I think she's derivative she's C tier. I'm going to put her in C tier. Yeah, I'd put her in C tier. She's not like a bad character. She doesn't like downgrade it too much or anything. Do you remember the, when she when she almost got shot and like, looked like she died? Like uh, Kilua's mom, like just, I think she, Kilua's mom shot her or like did something to her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looked like she was gonna die, and then she was like, "Nope, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all good. We still gotta be re irrelevant here as a butler. Like, how do you even become a butler? Like, I, I, that, was, that was confusing too. Like, I don't understand what the process is for becoming a butler. Are you an assassin butler, or are you just like a hunter, or what? Like, what, what what's going on there? I guess they might have mentioned it in the show, but I might have missed it. I don't know. Does she have net powers? I don't even think she has net powers. Dude, I, I forget it. I'm blanking on what she had. She had some sort of power. She was like. I remember she could do like. The I think that is Nen, to be honest. Like some. No, it wasn't Nen because Kiloa could do it before Nen. Dude, I. Assassin walk lady. That's what we're gonna call her. Yeah, I think she's well deserved <laughs> here. Uh, moving on to Melioron, one of the better ants. When he came in, I was like, "What was going on? Wasn't he following around uh, Kiloa?" Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Was it Gon or no? I think it was Gon actually. He was following Gon. He was getting ready to, uh, like, it was kind of like he was getting ready to kill Gon because he's a squadron leader. But it turns out he was just trying to befriend him, and um, I really like that arc to be honest. Like, like, like the friendship they formed between the two, uh, Melior and Gon. I thought that was really nice. Yeah, I, I feel like he was the first like Chimera ant to like turn. Yeah, he was one of the first. Yeah, bes yeah. I think even before. Um, yeah, I think even before uh, Octopus guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, no, and I like his power. His power is cool. It's not overpowered, but like they, the group, you can get creative with it when doing battles and stuff. All right, my thing is this though with the ants, just going a little rant. Since they're all from the same mother, aren't they technically all brother and sister? Like I never really understood that. Like, do they not refer to each other as brother and sister? Because they didn't in the show at all. But like, I just found that kind of weird. Maybe that's not how ant culture works. Maybe because <laughs> it's you're really born from the same mom. But whatever. That's besides the point. But yeah, he was a cool character. I think he's deserving a B tier. Do you have any objections to that? I think B tier's... Uh, no objections. B tier solid. So. He wasn't very strong either. He was just invisible, man. Like, it was kind of like, okay. <laughs> I don't know if he had a long time or anything. But Krolo, man. This character was awesome. In my Dude, he was so cool. I think he's he might be one of our characters that I liked enough to put him in A or S tier. I think S tier maybe even. But... I don't would... Hmm. S tier would be like... I definitely agree with like A or S tier, but probably A tier just because like... Tier, I was debating it because like we... The only reason I think we don't put him in S tier is because we didn't really see too much of him to be honest. Like... Yeah, like throughout the show he actually... If we saw like him do... Once again, just like Bisky, if we saw him use his powers more and stuff, like that book was so cool. Like how he could powers and use them on the fly. Oh, but, absolutely. Yeah. But if uh, he, if we saw more of him, see more of what he's stolen, more of what else he could do, I feel like he'd definitely be S tier. But I, right now, I think he's. Uh, I mean, I, I agree with that assessment completely. I, I, I was leaning on that boat, but I just thought he was S tier because of his power. But like I said, we're just ranking him on likability, and I feel like I couldn't really get to like him as much as I wanted to, if that makes sense, because we didn't really yeah, yeah. like him, and it, it was just. He's a cool leader, though, dude. I, I kind of wonder what his fate is going to be uh, if the show ever continues. Moving on to our next character, Phaeton. Phaeton has this really cool power. Uh, I, I'll let Twig explain what he did. He did some crazy madness against... Uh, He's not gonna lie, dude. I don't remember what he did. <laughs> he was, dude, he was so OP that all the other Phantom Troop members, they were like, we're out of here. You remember? They were... Remember when he was fighting... I remember he was, like, fighting the spider troll or whatever. Yes, Zazan, yeah. And, yeah, and he was... It was, like, a cool fight and everything, right? And, and, once again, I feel like his personality was kind of lacking in the sense that, like, he was kind of bland, you know, just kind of like a, a fuck it thing, you know, like kind of... I liked his power a lot, though, so I think that, that could land him a spot in B tier, just from that OP level. Like, I think he, I don't think he was the most likable character at all. I think he was kind of annoying at times, really, like, throughout the Phantom Troop arc. Uh, speaking of the Phantom Troop arc... I feel like they didn't really explore enough of the um, troop members. Obviously, they're limited to the amount of episodes they can make, and they're limited to what the manga was giving them. But I feel like we didn't really learn too much about him. So I think he, he probably is a good fit to B tier, in my opinion. What do you think about that? Do you think he should be lower into C tier? No, I, I agree with the B tier. Like, his power and stuff is cool, but, like, he, he should stay in B tier. Yeah, he's not at that Krolo or Bisky level. He's just didn't get enough action and not enough showtime for me to really like him. Uh, moving on to our next character, Franklin. <laughs> Easy. 
stuck in the seat. What did he do? Absolutely, dude. He was so pointless, dude. I did, I did, I did not like him at all either. I agree with your assessment. I think he is deserving of B tier. Bob, yeah. Bomberman now, and Frank Bomberman, aka Genthro. Bomberman, I feel like was a bad villain. Not gonna lie. Dude, I, I cannot agree anymore. He was a pretty bad villain. He was like, I, I he was like one of those villains. Like at the end, wasn't he like kind of changed by their uh, sparing him, li sparing his life, and then them using one of the cards to heal his uh, fellow, uh, and he's <laughs> his fellow villains. Yeah, I think he's a he's pretty much straight D tier, right with uh, Franklin. Yeah, I feel like he was only there with, uh, because he didn't. I feel like he was only there because the arc needed like an antagonist. Cause like the point of the arc was for like Gon and Kilua to like get better at Nen and stuff, but yeah, that's that's he 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 he. They, I don't think he needed to be there. <laughs> Moving on to Je Jean Freaks, aka Gon's dad. What do you think? About, what do you think about Gene? <laughs> I messed that up. Um, well, he's an asshole. <laughs> like that, that, and I guess he's like an likable asshole, right? And like his, it's it's cool watching him interact with Gon. Like once they're like on top of at the end of the show, once they're on top of the fucking world tree. Yeah. And he, yeah, he's he's like a cool guy, but we definitely didn't see like any of him at all. And everyone keeps like talking him up the entire show, like, oh, he's our friend. He was our friend. He's like probably the top ten men users in the world or whatever. And it was disappointing that we never really got to see much or any of that. Yeah, I don't think we ever saw his powers. It was kind of disappointing, but as, as you guys know, the a manga is still ongoing, quotation, uh, and apparently the anime can continue at any time, apparently, so. Yeah, I don't think he's deserving of even A tier, maybe B tier, to be honest, because... Yeah, I put him, he could definitely ri rise with the tier list if he, like... Seen him more, or whatever, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think yeah, we see him more. Right where he belongs. See what more powers he can do, see how else he, like, interacts with Gon and stuff. Okay, moving on to Gon Freaks. Easiest. S tier. <laughs> he is such a cool character. As you guys know, he is one of the four protagonists of the show. Uh, he, he is just such a cool character from the get go. We see him catching a fish from the. What was it? A, yeah, he caught a fish in the very. Yeah, first immediately episode. he catches a fish. I would put him. And this is this would be our first S tier, but I would put him on the lower end of S tier though, just because like sometimes when watching the show, I was like, okay, you're stupid. Why aren't you just like taking it? of like like and i get that was the point like why aren't you taking advantage of like the smart thing to do and you could just win <laughs> i know but, uh, but you gotta remember everybody... rock paper scissors man this is, this is a pretty cool power that was size show that was such a cool power and everything just he makes me smile he was a good character absolutely guys absolutely moving on to our next character goto aka mr coin man <laughs> mr coin <laughs> guy that's basically what he was. He kind of had a sad ending, dying to um, Isoka. But yeah, I don't, I don't really feel much about him to be honest. Like I didn't really hate or like him. It's kind of weird. So I think he's kind of deserving of like a C tier, because he was yeah. a really cool character. Like because he did fight and try to uh, help Kilua in the end. But then he was like, the bungee gum was too much for him, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the bungee gum was too much for him, man. We didn't. One, we did. He one, he was kind of weak sauce. You know, he lost to Hisoka pretty easily. Well, I mean, did, is Hisoka really, like, is, is, he, is every, are characters really weak, or is Hisoka really that strong? That's the real question, which I feel like we never really got yeah. the answer to. We never really got that answered, because uh, we never really saw Hisoka going up against someone really strong. Like, I think Razor would be the only one, but that wasn't even a fight. That was more of a dodgeball tournament type thing, so, yeah. Huh. We never really I mean, saw I thought it was, maybe, maybe it was just me, but I don't remember any... Yeah, I thought it was cool too, but I never really saw... We're talking about Hisuka now too, as well. I never really saw Hisuka fight anyone cool, but I think Hisuka is easily S or A tier. I'm just... I like, I like I liked him enough to put him in either. What, what are your thoughts on that? He's a really cool... Yeah, I have, I have A or S tier again. Like, he's just like the main antagonist of the entire show. I think like, he's A tier, but I think I should put him, put him ahead of Krolo, but behind Bisky. I think that's where he fits in. Yeah, I, I'll put him there. One thing that was interesting to note about Hisuka is that he wasn't in the Kyber Ant arc, which obviously you guys know, but it was kind of interesting to see how that whole arc worked without like the main antagonist of the show. And it was still a really good arc, like surprisingly, because it did have other other parts that made it run and keep keep that arc going. Yeah, and I also agree, he's like uh, such a cool character with his spongy gum and like the cards and everything. If for any ranking we're gonna get any hate i think it'll be for hisuka putting him in a tier 
because I think I'm mean, an S tier, but I mean, I, I think it fits in A tier pretty well. I like I said, this is our liking, so yeah. Yeah, what are your thoughts on his, his powers? Are cool though. Yeah, his powers are, are super cool. Like, he's a cool character, you know. Just have like he's a good bad guy to have. Like he's constantly like just looking for stronger and stronger people to fight, but he's also like a killer and he'll kill people. And he doesn't get up. He likes going to gun hates him. He was afraid of Illumi, wasn't he? Like he was afraid of Illumi throughout the. Yeah. He was like it's like he's he's like not like looking for fights that he. It's kind of weird. I don't understand. He, he, I don't think he can beat Quello, but at the same time, he wants to fight Quello. <laughs> like, right. this man, no chill. Yeah, I wonder if he would be able to fight John Freaks, uh, Jean. Yeah, I wonder how that fight would go, or even against Bisky. That would have been, or Phaeton. Like that would, like, just thinking these fights would just gets me going. But anyways, moving on to the next character, Ikago. Ikago was a really good character in my opinion. I really liked how I think he he was better than um, Melorion, Melioron in my opinion because he just changed like he was uh, we found out that he was part of the whole uh, Wolfen and the under oh, former NGL leader and then he remembered his past and I believe he was a sniper trying to kill Kilo in the beginning and then he just Kilo ended up helping him it was such a cool arc. I think he's one of the better character, better com characters in that arc, the Chimera Ant arc, and he just it's a really cool character. What yeah. Oh. Okay. So much was. Yeah, he had to save Palm, and it was such a cool, cool character. Where I think we should put him in B tier, but I think he should be top of B tier in my opinion. Right now we, are more like close to the top, surprisingly. Yeah. He was a cool character. Right, moving on to Illumi, aka Kilua's brother, Illumi Zoldic. Um, he was a bit of a weird character throughout the show with the spike with the needles in his face or whatever. I don't know. He was kind of a weird character throughout. But yeah. yeah. What do you feel? Okay. I, I think he's like a cool character, right? And all where he uh, where he well, gave he was like a good uh, count. Like he had the whole. He gave the Kilo the entire arc where he was developing, right? He gave Kilo that developing arc to get rid of like the needle and everything. Mm -hmm. I think he was introduced really, really weird. <laughs> you know, where he he was actually that guy, but then he was he was actually like the weird guy with the needles in his face, but then he's actually fucking Kilo's brother or whatever. And uh, he was introduced weird, and then also like I don't like his personality that much. He was kind of like, oh yeah. He was kind of a jerk for just being the sake of being a jerk, which is kind of what he was, right? Like, he was just kind of there to be that bully older brother slash, like, just, I don't know. I, I wasn't a huge fan of him. I think he's deserving of uh, B tier. Uh, B -tier for me. Later end of B tier. Because he was still a pretty cool character, because he did keep uh, Kilua. Uh, he was kind of like that antagonist slash villain for Kilua throughout that he had to overcome, which I really do like. Moving on to Kilua, easiest S tier. I don't think he's he goes a going in my opinion. He was such a cool character. So I agree, and he had a better. I think. Okay, so the thing between Gon and Kilua is that uh, Kilua is his arc was getting over like to fight for his friends, you know, trying to get over his fear of running away. Gon's arc was big arc. Well, at least in the Chimerian arc, was becoming less and less human for the sake of his friend, right? Oh yeah, and just killing. I think yeah, kill those arcs are on par, and I think like all throughout the entire show they're pretty close. But the thing is, Kilua never had those moments to me where I was like, "Why are you so stupid? Why are you doing this?" You know. Whereas Gon had those here and there. I feel like Gon is supposed to be that typical character, like that typical shonen type anime character who's just like who's goofy and is just like you know you you know you know I'm talking about. Like I'm not gonna mention any other anime, but he's like that. He wants to save the world and everything. Like he loves his friends, and he'll never kill. He wants anybody. to find his dad. Like he's the main character. Yeah, and whereas Go whereas Kilo is like that edgier, like the darker side. What I really thought was interesting is I kind of think that Kilo, what they kind of didn't do with Kilo enough is they didn't really play on the dark side of him. Like I feel like they didn't really like show that he could become dark and a villain. Villain. Like throughout the show, I feel like it was like basically he's gonna be a good guy no matter what. Like Kilo. Like, they kind of, like, played around with it at the beginning. Like, maybe he could be a villain and maybe... But one thing I found interesting is that Gon never really had a problem with him being an assassin, which is kind of weird to me. 
because Gon just seems like this really good guy. He's like, no, no killing people. Like he, he's against killing people and stuff, as as you guys know if you watch the show. But then yet he has this guy, his friend, who just just murders people for no reason sometimes, like in the um, uh, hunter exam, just for no reason. Like that one guy who's taking the that old guy, that poor old guy taking the exam. He just murders him just because he. <laughs> brother was there and it's like what is going on that's what just something i personally never really understood is that like i feel like they could have played with it to where gone and kilowa were kind of like rival you know what i mean like they could have they should have had like a, maybe an arc or something where they're like they're clashing heads due to their ideals and due to like their personalities but like that never really happened they were just like they're best friends they're going to be best friends what are your thoughts on that real quick like, yeah i agree i think they're they, that was I, I actually like the relationship you know where gone was like a little forget Kilo I never had a friend before so you know I think it kind of worked out and they're also like uh, they're also um, foils of each other or like they have opposite personalities but then they work together so I thought that was cool person. I thought it was cool but my only thing drawback you guys can hate on me in the comments if you guys want to but it was just that I just feel like they could have done more with this relationship than they actually did instead of just having it be like you're my friend you're my friend we're gonna fight for each other we'll protect each other they could have done it to where there was a little more to it they played around more with it but that's just me. Moving on to Kite. Kite was a really cool character. He's going to be a hard character to rank. Because I think he could be deserving of S tier. As you know, he comes back as a Chimera Ant at the end of the arc. Under Kurt's control. So, I mean, that's something to know. But, yeah. Kite was a really cool character. Yeah, of course, he had that weapon thing, Scythe. I think it's a Scythe. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 um, the, the clown where he would summon and give it a random weapon. Yeah, believe it or not, yeah, believe it or not, I actually read something that that weapon would always give him the right weapon he'd need for the battle, for any battle. It's just that Kite was just being like, I guess he was just being like a comedic relief or something, just saying like, oh, not this weapon. I don't know if you remember, but, but like, yeah. weapons always really worked out though. Like, it wasn't like those weapons were selected and they were just terrible weapons. But yeah, I mean, that's just besides the point, but he obviously dies to Neferpito uh, later in the Chimera Ant arc. I think he's... If he didn't die like that, I'd say I'd say A tier. But because he died so early and then we didn't see him that much, I, I, I'm gonna give him a B tier. Yeah, I think he goes above uh, um, Phazon, or I think he's right behind uh, Reptile Guy Meliorum. I, I think he was a good character, but he wasn't the best. Uh, he was just kind of there. I don't know if you remember watching early in the show. He was kind of like foreshadowing that he's gonna die in the arc he was like if i die you guys better leave me alone like, you guys better run away i was like okay he's obviously gonna die in the arc but yeah right. kind of there to die but cool he came back moving on to another irrelevant character <laughs> <laughs> not cool no yeah his power is cool but i didn't understand the whole thing with his hair going away like with the like it didn't seem to impact anybody else besides maybe wolfen like the whole dark aura thing and he was just kind of like shook after it like Seriously, dude, you were there for. They were. He was. I'll say this. He was literally there just to teleport these people in, in inside, outside the building. If that, if they already had that power, or somebody else just had that power added to them, he would not have been in this in this uh, anime at all. But I think he was kind of poor, to be honest. I don't know. I didn't really like him. I think he's deserving of D tier, just because. Wow. He was kind of stupid. Like, what are your thoughts? Do you think he's deserving of C tier? I mean, I I thought I really liked his power. His power like go into the different rooms is cool and how they could hide people in there. And I thought it was really useful like during the entire arc. But like what? like you said, C tier. We'll put him at kind of irrelevant. Yeah, he was he some, just you know. Then his hair turned white. Like, yeah, it's like, dude, what what are you doing? Like seriously. <laughs> And moving on, I'll put, him in C -tier. I'll put him in C tier. Moving on to our next character, Knuckle. Knuckle is a man. Knuckle is definitely deserving of B tier or A tier at least, because he was such a vital part with his, uh, with his just crazy cool power of being able to debt collector, debt collector and get, collecting interest. I think he, he a B tier. What do you think? I don't think yeah. he's a B tier. Maybe uh, he could probably push it there. He was a really cool character. I'm gonna put him. Yeah, B or A tier for me. Just like he was kind of like a try to be a tough guy, but then he had a soft side, you know? So I thought he was. Absolutely. Moving on to Komugi. Komugi was a really cool character. I hated her at first. I was like, what is this? I was like, I, I'm not gonna say I hated her, but I think she's A tier, definitely. She was she was the whole reason Meroim changed. And it was just a really touching story to see. I know that may sound a little weird, but it's it was just a very cool story. I'm gonna put her in A tier at the end of A tier. What are your thoughts on her? Even though she didn't have it. Yeah, the, the end of A tier or B tier for me because, yeah, like you said, like that whole arc was fucking awesome. 
in your own character development. Absolutely. She was a vital part to the show. Uh, especially that arc. But she was a... I don't know. I, I really liked her. Maybe I'm overestimating her. But she was a really cool character. Especially her, like, uh, really good at that one, at the game. Gumji. Gumji. I, I don't know what... Gumji. Yeah. We actually looked it up. Is that a real game? I don't think it was. I don't think it was. Was it a real game? No. They just made it up. But, like, that's the thing. It looked like a real game, though. That was pretty cool. Moving mm -hmm. on to... Something that might be a little questionable. I, we're moving on to Karapika. I really don't like Karapika in S tier. I, maybe it's just me, but I feel like he would be. I don't S -tier. think she deserves, or he deserves an S tier. I think he deserves A tier. A. a. I think A tier is fair enough since he is one of the main characters, and I did like him. I feel like just that whole whole uh, Phantom Troop arc is what really got me into him. But like other than that, he just kind of died. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I think we're gonna. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put him into the latter end, even after after Komagi and AT. He had yeah. a cool power though, I'm not gonna lie. He had a really cool power in uh James, you know? Absolutely, he was a really cool character. Uh, while well, he was on screen, of course. <laughs> How the show did it though, they didn't really force them into the Chimera Ant arc. Like they didn't force him or Leorio into that arc. Yeah, right. And I, I like that, but once again, we didn't spam much of the character outside of the the, 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 the specific arc for him. They could have put him into the um probably greed island or fit him into like the zoldic mansion arc when they were all going to the um they could have probably fit them in there but i don't know it was, it was just maybe it was just i don't know maybe they just didn't like him <laughs> the, the creator moving on to leorio leorio the man what do you think we should put leorio and give us a little bit of your thoughts on him leorio okay so this is this is i think the one of the most controversial characters right a lot of people don't like him because he's like hot-headed you know and he didn't learn then until the very end of it right yeah and he was I want to, uh, but I, I like his character, so, but a lot of people don't, so I'm going to put him in B tier, you know, just to keep him average. You know, his, I liked his personality a lot, but he didn't really do anything, like, too cool, you know? Look, like, 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 I feel like he had so much potential, but it just never really, like, never... Yeah, if the show kept going and we saw, like, more of his powers and what he could do, like, he definitely could have gone up for me. But... Absolutely. I, I remember that punch that he did on, uh... On Jean, I think they said that punch could have been completely avoided. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. He's one of the stronger Nen users, but that was really cool. Moving on to Machi, one of the Phantom Troop members. Fucking who? Ma I don't the care at all. Phantom. She was just like an angry all the time girl, you know, not really doing. She's just off. Oh. See, just just a Phantom Troop. Yeah, see, done. Moving on. He had a cool power though. Like it was, what was it? Was her power only healing? Is that what? It, like I remember. I think it was well, something with needles, but I don't care. Exactly. Meroem. I think he might be our next S tier character. I love Meroem throughout the show. Oh, his entire arc was phenomenal. Oh my god, as like a total power character in anime ever. Yeah. Like, I mean, ever. <laughs> uh, Saitama has something to say to you, but yeah, he was. Oh, cool. no, right, but like it just—I don't think he would win in a fight there. But just like his. The fight he's in are all so cool, and his development arc is fucking amazing. Just, oh. Easy S tier, dude. As easy as S tier. Easy S tier. Moving on to Miluki Zoldic. Huh. C tier. C tier. Def -tier, done. Maybe, <laughs> maybe C tier. I'm gonna put him in D tier, to be honest. I did not like him. Okay. I'm not gonna disagree with you. Smoke Man. <laughs> it, Smoke Man, dude, he was so cool. His power was awesome. He he helped beat Cheeto. He helped with a lot of stuff, dude. He was, he, and he was still going. Yeah, he was part of that. Like, he was part of that whole fight against UP, and I just thought it was awesome. I think he's A tier right after, uh, right after Karapika. He's a he was a really cool character. Like, yeah, I, A tier, dude. Just his power alone brings him up to B tier, and then plus his personality, kind of like a big macho man. Absolutely. You know? Moving on to Chairman Netero. Dude, S tier. S tier, that's... I, why did I even ask you that, dude? I could have just put him there and just been done with it. He was a really cool character. No, he was just the coolest power, just, you know, having... Being an old man, you know? That's kind of like an anime trope. Not gonna lie, having the super powerful old man. But, like, they do it so well. And his fight with, uh, with Miriam was fucking awesome. How he ended it by jabbing the finger into his heart. What about Nobun, Nobunga? Uh, the... Nobunaga? Yeah. Uh, so probably like a B or C tier. 
Absolutely. I wasn't a big fan of him. I remember he had a moment when he had uh, Kilo and Gone captive during the Phantom Troop arc, and then he just kind of let him escape. They, like, kicked the walls. I don't know if you remember that. They just kind of, like, sidestep and kicked the walls on both sides, both sides, and they were like, peace, we're out of here. Yeah. <laughs> he was all really mad about, like, Karapika killing his friend, but, like, that's really all he did was get mad. And I guess he wanted Gone and Kilo to be a part of the troop. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna slap him right into C tier. Uh lower end of C tier just because he was he's kind of cool power with the sword and everything but never really did much with him moving on to palm <laughs> <laughs> she had a cool character transformation throughout the show i'm not gonna lie she kind of went like from this, like, this crazy demonic like psycho almost to like to going out on a date with gone and turning into this like really like I don't know, like this typical female character in most- Yeah, and then like in the Chimera and arc, how she like- I like how she becomes significantly more humanized as the show goes on. I think she goes in a really- at the B-tier for her? Top of B-tier. She was a good character. Because of her character development, but if, it, if she didn't develop at all, like initially I would have put her in B-tier, but because she developed. Yeah, she was a cool character. Like, uh, just her whole eye thing was just- It was kind of just- I feel like a lot of stuff was just there to be there, like- her whole I think because they realize that we have all these storylines going on. So here, we're going to give this character the power to like see all the other characters. And like, it was just kind of like, it's just kind of, if you really think about it, it was just kind of nice. Like, it was kind of weird how they did that, but it's still cool. Uh, moving on to Finks. Easy, easy D tier. I did not like this guy. He just looked pissed all the time. He, I don't know if you remember, he wore like a mask. Like, like, we just didn't see enough of him. He just, even in this picture, he looks very pissed. And I, I did not like him. I'm going to put him in D tier. I don't know if you have any disagreements to that. Um, I mean, yeah, I can, I can see that definitely. Like, his power was just him becoming stronger. You know, it didn't really do all too much. Moving on yeah. to Pike, aka yeah, guy. Spider Dude. Oh, man. Spider, old man Spider Dude, D tier, easy. His little. His little. <laughs> I agree, dude. I, I think a lot of the snakes in. A lot of the Phantom Troop were just terrible characters. Moving on to Pito. Nefer Pito. I actually liked her. She's probably one of my favorite one of the um, uh, c squat command leaders or bodyguards. Bodyguards, yeah. I think she might be deserving of it here, to be honest, because she was a really cool character. Like she, she was like the character because when she killed Kite, you absolutely hated her. But it was a good reason. Like it was like a really cool. Yeah, it was a good. She was. She had. She was really well introduced. You know, it was just build up to her and. It, and then killing Kite, which is a character who was like supposed to mentor Kilo, and then bring him back, and her whole power was uh, and her whole uh, healing. Don't. <laughs> yeah. It was. I. I personally liked her. I think she was a really cool character. Like she may not have been like a a good character at all or anything, but like she kind of she kind of was a cool character though. I think she's deserving of A tier, and I think the Chimera Ant arc. Just if you take her out of the Chimera Ant arc and you have like Poof or something, just kill. Like poof, just kill it, kill kite. It wouldn't have been as good because I liked her. That like, I don't know. It just felt like a. It just was a really cool arc. I, I guess that's that's about all I can leave that at. Uh, moving on to Ponzu, aka B Lady. I don't know if you remember. The Hunter exam I forgot. We, we had to look up her name. Absolutely. I don't know if you remember in the Hunter. Ex I don't know if you remember in the Hunter exam. She was uh, trapped in a cave or something, and like I think she failed her. Uh, oh right, yeah, that was. It was stupid, but I think she's D tier. She was just there to die. Like she was just there to, I think, make us feel bad that like she died because we knew her. Like in the Chimera Antarctic. Like why was she even there? Like, like seriously, like just don't. Right, yeah, she didn't need. She did not need to be in that arc. Why were there no other hunters that were actually good there? But what? That's besides the point. Moving on to the Chimera Ant Queen. What are your thoughts on her? I didn't. I didn't really. Some of these characters I feel impartial. Oh, yeah. Like I didn't. I didn't, really I didn't like her, like her character, but I, she was definitely like necessary for the story. I think she goes into C tier. I'd put her in a C tier, just cause like she's she's dumb, but she was definitely like dumb for a good reason. She was like not dumb, but she was definitely like one dimensional for a good reason. Absolutely. Now Razor, Razor, aka OP. Greed Island dodgeball man. He's a cool character, but I mean, like we didn't. Like I said, I thought he. I thought he was super cool, just having like, just have this overpowered guy fight God and Kilo up, but not like in a fight in like a dodgeball, which I really liked. I think he is deserving B tier, later into B tier, because I, I, th I think he was cool, but not that, not as cool as he could have been. Yeah, I was about to say like he, he's not in it all that much. 
<laughs> Obviously, yeah, a lot of these characters are. Uh, moving to Poof. Poof, he was kind of a dicky character. Like, I, I didn't like him, though. Like, I don't know. He was a villain, but, like, he was just, like... He was, like, one of those characters, like, if you if you had to say you played yourself, I feel like that's him. Because, like, he looked, really just played himself throughout this arc. And he was... I don't know. I don't... I feel like he underestimated he, he, characters throughout. Like he underestimated he was, these char- the um, the whole the whole hunters and everything that were going to save uh, and stop them. But yeah, I don't I don't really he like. Was, he was definitely the worst of the three Chimera ants. I think I, I, here because he wasn't even a likable ant. like he wasn't even a likable villain. He was just kind of like just there to be there. Just played his violin. Where the fuck did he get a violin? Dude, I don't know. How do you learn how to play? I, I have no idea. And probably the easiest uh, D tier for either one of us uh, is Shalnark. This guy. I, okay. I, I didn't hate him as much as Ranger did, but Ranger really dislikes this guy. Dude, he was so annoying. I hated that smirk he had. He had this like smirk throughout, even in the picture right now. He has like this smirk, like he's like all knowing and all smart. Like it was like he wasn't that type of character, but he was just like, he just felt like. I just got this impression that he was overpowered, which he kind of was. Like, but then, I remember he got himself out of this sticky situation where he, I think it was against a Chimera Ant, and, like, he ended up, like, putting it in himself. I was like, this is so stupid. You remember what I'm talking about, right? Like, this <laughs> yeah, I power on himself. I think I do want to say, though, since we're getting near the end of the Phantom Troop members, is, like, I feel like individually they weren't that strong, but they, when they were together, I feel like I really enjoyed it. But just, we're ranking this list based on individuals. Yes. As a, the units, and by himself, I don't like it. They were good villains, but like, I don't understand this. By himself, I don't like. They were just villains for the sake of being villains. Like, they didn't really explore. Like, we obviously know that they're from this. Like, they're they're poor. Like, they were like, they're poor. They're from that place that Zazan was trying to take over. I forget the name of it. Meteor Meteor uh, City. That's what it's called. Excuse me. So like, yeah, they're from all from Meteor City. So they're not like, they're just like looting and robbing for like no reason really. Like, it just it just doesn't make. I don't I don't I don't really like them to be honest. The Phantom Troop. I was kind of glad that he killed that one guy, uh, Kilo, uh, Karapika killed that beast guy, whatever. I was like, okay, kill them all now. <laughs> I was like, go finish them all off. Like, okay. I, I, I liked, I liked most of them. Like, as, like, like I said, I liked them together. If they, I didn't like them as individuals. I liked them as like a group, as like this one group of bad guys. Yeah, dude, they were really, they were a good overpowered group of villains. I just didn't like their personalities of each character. Moving on. Like individually, I didn't like them, but when they interacted with each other, they were. Moving on to Shizuki, aka Vacuum Sucker Girl. I didn't like. She probably goes right next to Fate, right next to. Remember when her clothes got sucked up? Haha. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, dude, I remember that. I think she's D tier as well. I I just didn't like her. Like I just, it's not that I hated her as a villain. It's not like she was over villain and I wanted her to die. I just did not like her character. Like if she was not there, I would be happy. Yeah, I feel like she had it. Moving on to Shizuku. I think he's well deserving of D tier. Here's why. Well, he did put valiant effort against the um, against the Chimera ants. He just kind of just got clobbered and just got destroyed. And I, I did not like that. I think if you're gonna fight the ants, you gotta be strong. I think he should have died, to be honest. I don't know if he did. Did he die? I don't know. Did he die? I don't think he died. We don't even remember. It's just put him in. Dude, he's, he's he's one of the easiest D tiers ever. He was so pointless. Like at least his um at least his friend was actually really good. At least um. Uncle was actually good. Like, <laughs> was worth. Uncle yeah. shoot was just. Don't don't even mention shoot again. To be honest, Silva. Like, I think he's a really cool character. I just think we didn't see enough of him fighting or anything. He was just always like, you'll always come back. The only time he ever fought was against fucking. Um, was against Croyo. Crollo. What do you think we should put him? I think B tier. Maybe even. Yeah, B tier. Yeah, I think later into B tier. He was not that cool. He was a cool character, but like we didn't see enough of him. Uh, moving on to Butler Lady Sobuna. Exactly. Where do you put her? Whatever. It's, uh, shit, I thought her power was fucking stupid. <laughs> Turning into. I want to put her in a D tier, but I'm gonna put her ahead of a few of the characters. Uh, put, her, put her in C. Put her in C tier. I don't think she was like bad. All right. Up, no. Yeah, she she was good. Like for the whole scene where uh, Kilawa decided to heal her hand. I thought that was kind of cool, like how she was giving fingernails. Why was she... Yeah, I'll put her in a later end of seat here. Wolfin! He had a really cool change throughout this arc, like when he found out the truth about himself. I liked him a lot. I think he's he's definitely B or A tier. I don't think he's S tier, but he was a cool... I'd put him in the middle of B tier. 
Yes, dude. He was a cool. Because like his 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 character development was pretty cool. Just that he was a little bit. <laughs> exactly. All right, moving on to the teacher wing. That's a D tier. I, I, he didn't do anything. Like he was so stupid. He, just, he taught them then. He was kind of important. All right, we'll put him at. We'll put him in C tier. I, I, I didn't like him really. Like, he didn't come. He, he, like, like he was a little. Okay, he was a little irrelevant. Like he needed to be there for the sake of the story. So I can miss him. All right, fair enough. Moving on to another one of the guards, Yupi. Yupi was kind of. Yupi. He's in A tier. Eyes. End of A tier. Absolutely. I think he's. I think he's behind Neferpito. He was actually a cool, really cool. But I think Neferpito. Yeah, I thought he was a cool villain. He was like the physically strongest of the three loyal guards. Uh, oh, he, he was. He had, he had his transformation to like the centaur thing was cool, and and he was yeah, cool guy. He kind of gave me a vibe of like an X Men mutant. I don't know. Like maybe that's just me. Like like he could have been in like a Marvel comics as an X Men villain or X Men mutant. Yeah. Moving on to Zazan, aka the one character the whole Phantom Troop just got together and was like, you know what, we're gonna beat this girl up. And they kind of did. Because right, the ants fucking just took over a city or something. Made a cocoon. He was taking over, yeah, Meteor City. Uh, what do you think we should put? Put her, put her, put her in. Absolutely. Was... I didn't hate her, but I think she was kind of annoying too. Yeah. Why are all these Mera ants on here, but then like the fucking the first intelligent one is? Do you remember his name? The first what? I'm sorry? The first Marion. I was like, what? I just forgot his name. I, I, I have no idea who that is, dude. Why isn't he on this list? Whatever. <laughs> Alright, moving on to Zeno Zoldic. Um, I feel like he kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, Sil with Silva. Because he was kind of just kind of there to be there. Like He didn't. He had the whole dragon power. I'd put him above because he had the whole dragon power thing. I think that just puts him above. Down on him above. Yes, I think that puts him above. <laughs> That's about it, really. That's the only reason why he's above him, is because he had a dragon power thing. <laughs> Alright, and then the last character, Zushi. Uh, easiest S tier in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he, I mean, he was he was so irrelevant, but I think he's a cool character. Like, I don't think the anime would have been... The anime would have survived without him, but I, I liked him. I liked him a lot. I'm, I think I don't, I don't think he's an S tier, dude. No, I was just kidding. I, I think we put him into C. Yeah, yeah, I, I, know, I know. Put him in, like, B tier or something. Because, like, he was, he was fine. He was, like, a cool kid. We'll put him to the very front of C tier, just because we have too many B tiers. <laughs> All right. So, All right. You guys, what do you guys think about this tier list? I want your comments down below to tell me. And if you liked it, please leave a like in the like bar, in the like area down below. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, we will be bringing you more anime content related to this tier list and our thoughts on different animes. Uh, we will be having a Promise Neverland review coming up shortly with my good friend twig noodle oh my god <laughs> which is it anyway oh, it's gonna take me so long to thank you guys for watching